I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 289, where I'm going to show you how to aggregate from month to year only, part three. This is in continuation, or really not a continuation. It's a different way of doing what I've shown you in episode 286, as well as 288 in particular. And it shows you how to fix a pound size error. And what I would say is this is a way to use the at silent function in Quantrix, like I showed you in episode 288, but it's kind of a shortcut, uh, a shorthand way, if you will, of how to how to write the silent function within Quantrix. So again, just like in episode 286 and 288, I have a matrix up here that has department, has the metrics, and it's by month and it's by year for these accounts. And I want to roll that up by year, but I have to do this by a different set of accounts. Not a different, yes, a different set of accounts. They aren't the same, so they can't be linked. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've, write, I've written a sum statement, a sum select that goes out and brings back the values from this matrix where this department is equal to this department as listed here. Problem is I'm getting a pound size error. The reason why is because I have 1,488 items in my value list here. And in my key list here, I have 124 items. So I need to try to get symmetry. Again, I was able to do that in episode 286 by using the force list and uh, having my key list be at the month level, natural account level. Uh, in episode 287, I showed you how to do this by using the at ID and the silent function within Quantrix. And now I'm going to show you the shorthand or shortcut way of using the at silent function in Quantrix to get this to work as well. So I can go here and I can go to metrics uh, dot value is equal to the sum select. What do I want to select? Well, I want to select the R department month year natural accounts value, right? Where my key list, this is where the short shorthand silent comes into place. And what I want to do is I want to bring back, I want to permute all of the months, or rather across all of the months, I want to permute this account up here, this MFG natural accounts, right? So that's how you should read it. You should say, I want to permute across month these accounts or these items within this category. So I want to permute across the category month the category of MFG natural accounts. And by writing it this way, what happens is month then becomes silent and what that means is it doesn't show up in the key list, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So my lookup value is then going to be at here. Okay. So again, if I go here and I look at this, you can see I have 1,488 items here, and I have 1,488 items. Fixes my pound size error, and it actually is summing it up correctly, which is 24. And what is happening here, if I look at my key list a little bit further, in this example, you can see that only in the key list are listed the natural accounts. 0010 is actually my first natural account if I were to go up here and look at my list. Okay, so uh, I think that's that's pretty powerful stuff because <clears throat> it's a way of silencing month but having uh, permute across month the natural accounts. Whereas down here with the force list function that I showed you in episode 286, if I were to remove the way I did it here, sorry, that's in one more formula down. If I were to go back to this one where I force listed it, right, what I was doing is I was permuting, well, I wasn't permuting anything, but the key list was actually going by month and natural account. So month was part of my key list and it was concatenated to the natural account, right? And therefore, that's what required my force list. And again, of month, and you can go look at that in episode 286. So really, a short way of writing this, and I think maybe a less convoluted way of writing this, again, is by using this kind of shorthand 
or silent by putting items within parentheses that you want silent. And I believe it was a couple months ago, I was working with a gentleman who had a rather large model, and we were able to add silent multiple categories within the model. So don't feel like you're only limited to just silencing one category. I believe you can just keep, keep silencing categories by simply separating them with a colon, but making sure that you have parentheses around them as well. So if you have any questions about at silent, about aggregations, anything about fixing pound size errors, anything in Quantrix, you know, I love this tool. That's why I stay up late and make these videos. It's to help you. And I really want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.